If you've never heard of Solark, then you're going to want to watch today's video. Because today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Solark 5K single phase hybrid inverter system, and I'm going to be explaining why I chose this unit for my new backup power system at the new home here in South Carolina. Hi everyone, Joe Wardia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with a home solar power systems, uh, battery backup systems, uh, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Now on today's video I'm excited to be introducing you to the new Solar 5K single phase hybrid inverter system. Uh, this is the system that I'm going to be installing here at our new home in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I wanted to share with you the, the whole process. So we're going to start here with the unboxing so you can see what comes with the 5K unit. All right, let's open this up here. So we've just got some protective foam here for the packaging material. Take that off. Our documentation here, user's guide, and then let's open up the inverter here. Got a package here with uh, our magnetic rings, reduce interference in the communications, and we have our communications cable as well as looks like a auxiliary power cable here. And then here, here's the 5K. Now the nice thing about Solark's design, and, and really when or Solark made such a big splash when they came on the hybrid inverter scene about four and a half years ago, is that unlike previous generation hybrid inverters, where you have the inverter system, then you have separate switch gear, you have separate charge controllers, and a separate control panel, Solark integrates everything into one unit. So you have your connection and your switch gear here, your, your disconnect here on the side, you've got your conduit entries here on the bottom, and then integrated within this one box, you have your system control panel, and then you have your inverter and your MPPT charge controllers all in one box. So this is what we'll be installing in the garage. Um, come follow with us and let's go on with the installation. Okay guys, so we're out in the garage now and we have the Solark 5K unit installed here wall mounted. And so the way I have the system hooked up right now, we don't have the solar, but we do have all three AC connections present. You have your AC to the grid connection, which helps keeps the batteries topped up. We have the AC generator connection, which we'll exercise in a little bit. And then we have the AC power out to loads within the house. Now, the way I have this installed right now, I have both, um, both of the lines energized here on this two pole 50 amp breaker that I'm using to back feed in to the entire panel here. Now, key point guys, you have to make sure that your, your main disconnect outside is turned off, or if you have a main breaker, make sure that your main breaker is turned off before you back feed like this. Because I actually have the line output on the Solark double tapped, which means I'm feeding both the black line one conductor and the red line one conductor from the same terminal. It's coming off the same phase here on the Solark. That way I can feed both poles on my load center here. So as we're recording right now, the Solark 5K is powering the entire house with the exception of three circuits, which are the air conditioner, the electric clothes dryer, and the electric range. Those are the only three 240 volt loads that we have at the house here. Everything else is being powered by the Solark 5K. And right now you can see that the base load in the house is actually quite low. Let me see if I can punch in here so you can see the screen. But as you can see here, the base load in the house right now is only 0.32 kilowatts or 320 watts. And that's again, all the 120 volt loads within the house. Now, if I, if I start exercising some of the equipment, like let me come over here, I'll, I'll, hit, the, uh, I'll hit the garage door opener. And now you can see as the garage door is being pulled up, our load jumps up 
to 740 to 750 watts. But all in all, we're well within, well within the 5K limit here uh, on the Solark 5K, running just the 120 volt loads within the house. Now, if you look over here, we have our battery bank. Um, we are using a 9.6 kilowatt hour AGM deep cycle battery bank. So it's made up of four 12 volt, 200 amp hour AGM batteries. Batteries are wired in series at 48 volts for a total of 48 volts, 200 amp hours, which equates to 9.6 kilowatt hours total storage. And then we also have the generator down here as our third level backup. Uh, I have a, a Honda engine Black Max 7,500 watts uh, continuous running gasoline power generator. And so basically if we get into a situation where the solar can't keep up with keeping the batteries charged, we're going to fire up the generator and while the generator is running it can be powering the house and recharging the batteries at the same time. So let's go ahead and exercise that functionality now. All right, we're just going to hit this with a little bit of starting fluid, see if we can get this thing fired up. Okay, now we're back inside at the Solark, and as you can see here, the Solark is starting to receive power input from the generator, which is going to both power the loads and the excess is going to recharge the battery. So right now you see you get two kilowatts coming in from the generator, 0.2 kilowatts going to power the loads and 1.6 kilowatts going to recharge the battery. I'm gonna punch in the screen so you can get a little better look at the display here. Okay, so you can see the meter is a little bit better here now. Again, 1.7 kilowatts currently coming in from the generator, 0.13 kilowatts going to loads, 1.3 kilowatts going to recharge the battery. And the battery is already at our absorption voltage, indicating that basically the battery is already at a full charge. Now the Solark will generally hold the battery at the absorption voltage for an hour before dropping to the float charge, just to make sure that these batteries are topped up. And that's especially important um, especially when you're talking about lead acid chemistries like the AGM batteries that we have here. So folks, again, this is the new Solark 5K 1P single phase inverter. It's a 120 volt only inverter, but it has all the functions that you've probably come, to, come accustomed to and expect from a full service hybrid inverter. It's got grid connection, grid support. It's got generator support as we're running right now, being able to um, power loads and recharge batteries from the generator power source. Um, and as you can see, you know, I have a, you know, right now this is a 2,500 square foot home. This is a brand new construction home. And the Solark 5K1P is able to power all of the 120 volt loads in the home, really, really without even breaking a sweat. So I haven't fired up the microwave yet. Um, already ran the garage door opener. But this gives you an idea, folks, if you're looking for uh, a very low cost, very streamlined, uh, either off-grid solution or home backup solution, the Solark 5K1P is something that you're definitely going to want to check out. Uh, it's what I'm using at my new home here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 
Uh, and I can see a lot of applications uh, for this, particularly uh, in the off-grid community. Uh, this is still not something that most solar installers are going to be offering. Uh, it really is designed, I, I would say primarily designed uh, for more of that uh, do-it-yourself solar community. Uh, or if, you, if you're an off-grid focused solar installer, maybe you do a lot of hunting cabins uh, or a lot of survival retreats, the Solark 5K1P uh, is definitely something that you should consider making part of your arsenal. Well folks, that's it for the initial Solark 5K1P unboxing and installation video. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have here on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we publish the new videos, whether they be new product videos, product installation videos, uh, it'll allow you to keep up with us and make sure that you won't miss anything that we're putting out. Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at solar plus battery backup options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a quote, want to get a comparison quote, just make sure you're getting the best price and getting the best equipment. Um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our website where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, with myself or with one of our other experts here and just talk through exactly what the options that are available for your home. Well, folks, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.